Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Velas here at the Coventry Skydome. With Reese Cartwright. Reese, I know you'll be deflated right now and it's obviously quite raw. Um, just your initial reaction to your defeat tonight? I felt like I was doing good. I felt like I was winning the fight. Um, I went down, I recovered pretty much straight away instantly. Stood back up. Ref didn't say you're good or not. I put my gloves out like you do. Put my gloves out and say, come on, let me go quick. And he just waved it off. Didn't ask me if I'm all right, walked forward, nothing. Just not with it. We'll talk about the stoppage and a little bit more about the intricacies and what happened in a second. But in terms of the fight, obviously, with Shaq being so big and rangy, I think a lot of people have problems closing the distance. But you seem to be in control for certain bits yeah, of the fight. And you seem to close the distance pretty easily. I closed the distance very easy. And even when we were outside, I felt like I was out jabbing him. Like, I don't know how, but I was beating him to the jab. And I was getting inside, I was letting my work off. I felt like I was up. I felt like I was up a lot, yeah. Did you feel like it was an entertaining fight there? Because I know that from the outside looking in, people were genuinely like, this is a seriously good yeah, fight. I think, I think from outside looking in, it was a good fight, yeah. Respect to Shaq though, man. I mean, he got, he got the win and he moves forward. What can I say? It's good, it's not me. Obviously, with the stoppage, again, from the outside looking in, we were sort of confused at the fact that because there was six or seven seconds once the bell had gone, perhaps you should have had time to recover and at least see if you could have gone out for the next round and then... Perhaps things would have been different. To be totally honest, I didn't even know it was to end up right at end up round. I didn't know the round had finished. I thought I was going to go and carry on. I didn't, I didn't hear no bell. I just, I was focused on getting back in there and fucking hurting him like he put me down. I wanted to get him put down. I wanted to put his ass down. But I, I, it, it's not no about end up round. Fucking, I got put down. It's the first time I've been put down like that. Well, until I like second, but it is what it is, innit? Fucking will ever will learn, don't we? Come back. I know you said that you sort of gave the ref your gloves to sort of be wiped down and say go again. That was literally it. You gave them to the ref, like sort of explain that, that situation. There, so as soon as I got up, I, I sat down. I st like, like the first time I've been put down, I stood straight up. Mistake, I shouldn't have done it, but I stayed down for the eight. I got up. I walked forward. I put my gloves on his shirt to say wipe these and let me go again. And he just he just pushed my gloves back and waved it off. I thought, fucking hell. It got in, to be honest. When I was near a load of your bunch and they thought you were winning, I know Shaq Hanslot would have said he was winning, but Richie Woodall had you up by a couple on the Channel 5 stream. I know obviously sometimes it's hard to tell fighters tell me when you're in the ring, but sort of how did you feel the fight was balancing? To be, to be fair, my my people have just spoke to me now after it and they said, he, we, they, my fans were sort of his fans and uh, they were saying you're winning that. And Shaq's fans were saying, mm, sort of like, yeah, I don't know who's got that. My fans like, yeah, he's winning this. So it, it's, it speaks for itself to an hour up, but like you say, it's a stoppage, so points don't fucking matter, does it? I know, like, it's one of them, I don't like using the word myself, and I know it's sometimes a bit overused, but do you almost feel, I'm going to say the word, not uh, robbed, essentially? Do, do you almost feel like that, or is there, because, like you said, because it's a stoppage, there's a certain degree of Ooh, acceptance it, about it? Yeah, I mean, I think if it had gone to points and they'd have robbed me on points, I'd have said, bullshit. Robbery, looking daylight robbery, but I do feel a little bit like that because I don't feel like it should have been stopped. I was good, I was ready to go on, and he stopped it. And I thought, was that just was that just a way to get Shaq the win? Like, did he see a chance and think I'd give him it? Do you know what I mean? But it, respect to Shaq, man, I can't I can't go on to it saying it shouldn't be stopped because it's just taking his fucking line light away from me. It's not fair. So respect to Shaq, he's, he went in there, done a job, good done what he had to do, got the win, and he's the winner. That's it. Respect to him. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you would do anything to, to be the winner in this fight right now, but I suppose if there is a silver lining in defeat, I suppose your stock can go up. And definitely tonight on Channel 5, there will be people watching who would have seen that and will take an interest in you now. And I mean, you can be considered from this your stock with the rosaries. Yeah, j j I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a kicking dick, but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it is what it is, and it's fucking life, isn't it? We, go, we move on, we go forward, but... I mean, even Shaq himself, I, I spoke to Shaq after the respect. I like Shaq, he's a good, he's a good lad, decent lad. But uh, he, said, he said to me, he said, um, I said, tell me the truth, Shaq, did I have you hurt a few times? He said, yeah, of course you did. He fucking hell. But it, yeah, it's what it is, isn't it? I had him hurt, I didn't finish it. He fucking did, so it's what it is. Just finally, I know we spoke um, a couple of days ago and you said that you told me sort of the story in the couple of years you had and the tough times and the boxing sport you back and you might have had a comeback fight but you feel like this was your first proper comeback fight did you almost learn something about yourself or tell yourself something tonight I did do you know what it is it's like the level you're at essentially yeah, I, I, I don't give a fuck what people say I had three years out 
I've come back on the same fucking level I left because I, I deserve to be in there with those people. I deserve to mix it with those guys and and I think I proved that to everyone now. Like I think a lot of people that watched it would have said it shouldn't have been stopped. I don't think it's only me that's saying it shouldn't have been stopped. I think I think loads of people's gonna say, well, that should never have been stopped. So it is what it is, isn't it? You can look at it like Dickhead got knocked out or Dickhead got stopped or you can look at it like listen at the end of the day it shouldn't really have been stopped. I'd have liked to see it go to end and see what happened. But Well, like I said, we spoke about you sort of your comeback journey. It was good to see you in the ring tonight and whatever happens next, be it a massive fight, a small I'm fight, a winner, be, it, be it prosperous because you come winner. back and yeah. I'm a winner, I'm, I'm a winner, I'm fucking, I'm studying, I'm, I'm back in that ring fighting, I'm fucking, just fighting Channel 5, I'm a winner man, I'm nearly dead, I'm, I'm, I'm winning at life. Good stuff, well it's good to speak to you Reese and uh, commiserations tonight, but whatever you do next, I'm sure people will be tuning in because uh, before you bollocks off tonight, well, thank you man.